Hi, welcome back to Kolsky Jones. So today I just want to do a video giving my conclusion as a Xeno. So I've had to take a lot of thought in doing this video because the question is, is it worth buying? And the simple answer is, it's not an easy question to answer. So let's just go over the, the flying characteristics first. So this flies more like a 501 SS than a Mavic or any GGI product. It doesn't have the finesse, it doesn't have the flying characteristics of a more expensive GPS drone. Am I saying that's a bad thing? Not at this price point. Because it isn't. So by that what I mean is it, it'll hover nicely in the air. It's hovering's actually not that bad at all. There's a little bit of up and down movement because it's got no sensors. But when you fly this and you want to do a turn and you let off the sticks, this is going to wander. And it's exactly what the 501 SS did. And this is what it'll do for a couple of seconds until it finds its GPS lock again. Not a fault with the drone, it's just how it is. It's just what the GPS system's like on it. The advertised flight time's more like 17 minutes than the 24, I think it was, the advertised. So you're not going to get that flight time out of it. But it's still respectable. Remember, the batteries are cheap for this. That's another thing you need to bear in mind. The controller, which I didn't like, the gimbals on, which I like the controller, but I don't like the gimbals. I still think the gimbals resolution isn't great. And... You can't be as precise as you want to be with these gimbals, and that's because they're toy grade gimbals in there. But what you have to remember is, and the whole point of me doing this video is, and me getting my head around it as much as anybody else, is that the price point you're looking at, this is a £369 retail drone. You can buy it for, I got this for 339 I thought it was 329 it's actually 339 And if you shop around, you're probably going to get it a little bit cheaper than that. That's what you have to remember. You're not comparing this to a DJI Mavic or even any DJI drone because you shouldn't be because that's not what you're buying the price point is set at this price point and for the money it flies like a £369 drone that's probably the best way I can put this the camera so the camera is where they've cut the cost so the gimbal seems to work adequately you're going to see on this, so I've got some flight footage coming up, it's only about 4 or 5 minutes because the weather's not great here, but this morning I've got winter sun, which is a killer for drones. So as you're going to see, I'm going to fly this in the winter sun, Is everything's at stock settings, and you're going to see, twice I think it does it in the video, that the screen will flash and colour. So in other words, you just get a coloured sheet on the, if you, if you like, you'll see what I mean, when you, it's difficult to describe. That's because of the sensor. Because that's where they've cut the cost. The sensor and the lens. You're also going to see it's soft. I don't think a firmware update is of any description. This has got all the latest firmware on. Is going to sort the fact that the screen looks soft. Because it does. The detail isn't there that you could pick up with a more expensive drone. And that's probably because of the lens. So the lens and the sensor are the issue. The sensor, I think you could probably fix with a firmware upgrade. They've already done one for it. But it hasn't fixed that issue. But you're not going to be able to fix the clarity of the lens with a firmware upgrade. Unless they know some magical thing that I don't. So it sounds like I'm, I'm hating it. But I don't. I actually like it because I think it's worth the money. For the cost it is. If you already own a Hubson drone and you're flying a 501 SS. You're going to love this. Because it flies very very similar. It's quite fast. Um, it surprised me actually how quick it feels when you're flying it. If you look at this screen, it doesn't actually determine that the, it's going at that quick, but whether that's out or not, but it does feel quite quick when you're flying it. To get good shots, you've got to be, you've got to be gentle on your sticks. If you're going to fly this and you're going to bang it side to side, you can get away with that on a DJI, you're not going to be able to do on this. When you're your member, just give it very small movements. And also when you're going forwards, just give it very small movements. Don't full stick it or you're not or when you let go of the stick it's just going to be all over the place so a gentle stick and you're going to get good video shot if you want to fly it around and have some fun with it you can actually throw this thing about you really can now i don't know whether the firmware upgrade fixed the sport mode or not but it didn't feel much different to me in sport i didn't look at my screen to see what speed i was doing i should have done to be fair but i didn't um it didn't seem to go any quicker so i think the crux of the matter is if you're looking for an entry-level drone that's got a 4K camera, 
Now bearing in mind this video shot at 4K and I wanted to get a video up quite quickly because I didn't get a video up the other day when I did the review on it. I just wanted to get a video up quickly. I'll have some more videos coming up but it's probably going to be after Christmas now of it flying in the different modes because I think in 1080, 60 frames a second the picture might be actually better than it is in 4K if that makes sense. I think the 4K is working on the limit. So the 4K is doing 30 frames a second and it's also doing 45 megabits per second which is quite respectable. It's not the same as some of the top end drones but again this isn't the top end drone and people that uh, on the internet comparing this with anything other than this are crazy because there's nothing to compare it to it's the only thing really in the market that does what it does for that price point nothing else does that I can tell you it's a million times better than the unique Mantis Q I can tell you that now straight away the video footage is so much better than that For what you pay for it and everything you get in the kit and the fact that the batteries are cheap, it's, it, it, to me it's worth the money. But if you're going to buy this and go, oh it doesn't look as good as my Mavic, it's not. I own the Mavic Air and I own the Mavic Pro. There's no comparison between the two because they're double the money. This thing is a cheap drone. It was designed to get to be an entry level budget drone. And to be fair to Hubson, I'll give them some credit here because someone needed to do what they've done. Someone needs to step up and make a drone that had a 4K gimbal on that was a sensible amount of money. So, all credit to Hubson. You can hate them all you want, or you might think, well, it doesn't look that great when you see the video footage, but you're watching the £369 drone, not a £700, £800 drone, because it's not as good as them. So, I'm going to leave you the video footage. You're going to see what I mean by the video footage. I think it's slightly soft. Is it, is it good enough? Yeah, of course it is. It's absolutely fine if you want to get some aerial footage. It's stable, you've got a little bit of up and down movement because the drone's going up and down, that's because there's no sensors on. Well if you started putting sensors on, started improving the camera lens, started improving the sensor, put optical avoidance on, we'd be talking a £600 drone, not a £369 drone. So that's my overview of it anyway, that's what I think about it. I think it's worth the money, it's a nice little flyer. It's different than anything I've got. I'm pleased to bought it and I'll have some fun with it. I am going to do a load more videos on it because I haven't done any of the modes. So I'll show you the follow me mode and the active track, their version of active track. It's orbit and I'll go through waypoints. That'll be later on. It's getting to very near Christmas now so and I've got some other stuff to review. But I'll have them coming up after Christmas. So once again, thanks ever so much for watching. Thanks for all the support you've given me. Hit a thousand subscribers recently. And it's all down to you guys. The support you give me is immense. Leave loads of comments. I love getting comments, good or bad. It's nice to chat to you guys. Um, and without you, this wouldn't be possible. So have a fantastic day. So, this video is recorded in 4K, 30 frames per second. As you're going to see in the video, if you keep watching it, you're going to see occasional times where it'll flash the light. So the light will flash as a change between a darker area and a light area. This is something that should be able to be changed with a firmware update on the sensor. You'll also see that in occasional times that the camera doesn't look very that the camera doesn't look sharp. I think that's more of a lens issue like I said in the video, not something to do with a firmware update. But the £369 drone and for the money it's still remarkable what it does to have all the features it's got and remember i haven't gone through these features yet of the fall of, of its active track type mode its waypoint mode and all the other things it can do all the other different modes of the camera i haven't tried a 1080p 60 frames second yet i'll do these in future videos coming up you'll also see now it looks like it's about to hit them roof it's a long way away from them that's because the field of view on the camera isn't as wide as it is on a lot of drones, so it's quite a zoomed in look you're getting. Not a bad thing, doesn't bother me in the slightest. I hope you can see from the video, all you're watching this video for is the clarity. Forget that it may be jerky in times because I've just been throwing it about a little bit and I've not been as smooth on the sticks as I should have been. It's freezing cold outside, so my hands are a bit trembly, but you're going to see the clarity of the camera because that's all I want you to watch. So, thanks very much. <laughs>